78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, word on the curb is Anthony Joshua, former unified heavyweight champion of the world, uh, has fired his uh, newly acquired trainer, Derek James. You know what I'm saying? That's just a word on the curb. Uh, we don't know if this is true or not. Derek James, after uh, suffering a few back-to-back -back losses here, there's been a lot of rumors about him. Uh, some of it is like wishful thinking from haters, uh, you know, rumors that Earl Spence has cut ties with Derrick James, and then this guy and that guy cut ties with Derrick James. I don't know what, what the obsession is with that, but that's what some people want to happen. Now, as for Anthony Joshua, though, Joshua is, has been training with Ben Davidson, who used to train Tyson Fury. Um, um, Joshua said, well, it's been assumed that Joshua is training with Ben Davidson because, you know, he's been over there in the UK um, and he's not working with Derrick James right now. He's not in the Derrick James gym. So he's just, you know, staying busy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but Joshua in the interview said he's switching trainers. He didn't go into that. Um, and to my knowledge, whoever interviewed him didn't follow up on that. What does that mean? You're switching trainers. Literally, you're switching trainers, or are you switching trainers for a fight, or are you actually leaving Derrick James? I mean, we need some clarity on the situation. Uh, so right now, all we got is Anthony Joshua himself saying he's switching trainers. So I guess people gotta go with that. Um, now, what exactly does this mean? Derrick James is already uh, jam packed. He has a full gym um, over there. He has uh, Earl Spence Jr., of course. He has Frank Martin. He has Jamel Charlo. Uh, he has Anthony Joshua. He has Ryan Garcia now. So he has a lot of stuff, a lot of fighters. Uh, uh, they're coming back and on the comeback right now in boxing and, you know, coming off of losses and trying to, you know, make make a, a name for themselves. Or a guy like Joshua who is trying to get back to title contention at heavyweight. Um, Dave James got his hands full. So, if Joshua is deciding he wants to go in another direction, you know, I think it's a big mistake by Anthony Joshua. But, hey, I'll take it, you know. Um, if he's going to fight Deontay Wilder and he's not going to be with Derrick James, I will take that all day long. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would prefer him not to be with Derrick James when he fights Deontay Wilder, right? But um, that's if Joshua even takes the Deontay Wilder fight. Uh, that fight been going on. The rumors for that fight been going on forever. But – there still is hope um, that that fight, Joshua and Wilder, could be on the card with Fury and Usyk sometime in the first quarter of next year, okay? So there's hope. They just got to come up with the money uh, for the fight. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Now, if Joshua stays with Ben Davidson, I think it's a mistake. I think Ben Davidson, you know, Joshua, he, he wants to be a boxer. He wants to... Uh, he, he wants to see himself as an intelligent fighter and not some big brute, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he wants to be a thinker in the ring and all that stuff. But I think that that's a mistake for Joshua. I think he could have he could have beaten Usyk, but he chose to play the thinking man's game with Usyk. He chose to try to outwit, outslick, outclever Usyk, try to outcute him. And that's just not how you beat him. Like, you got the size advantage, you're bigger, you're stronger, you're, you know what I mean? You go in there and you bully this dude up, but Joshua doesn't want to fight that way for whatever reason. I don't know why. He he wants to be, he wants to look like a big bruiser, but 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 box like a ballerina. That's what he wants to do. Don't know why, but that's what his uh, infatuation is. And uh, if he does that with Deontay Wilder, and he's not sure of himself, and he goes up in there, um, tiptoeing through the tulips, he gonna wake up. In a, in a you know another day, so um, Joshua has to find out who he is, uh, who he wants to be in boxing, and um, you know, right now I think he's doing himself a disservice if the rumors are true that he is leaving Derrick James. He just got comfortable with Derrick James. You're learning, uh, uh, you know, some some new tricks. Um, now you're gonna go to a whole another trainer. Um, I just don't understand what Joshua's doing. 
I think it's going to be too much confusion in his ear, um, too much stuff going on. He Joshua's over. He overthinks in the ring. You know what I mean? This, some of this stuff should be like second nature to him. You shouldn't need your corner to tell you what to do in every situation. You should be able to work your uh, figure some of this stuff out in the ring yourself. It should be like second nature to you. But the fact that it's not is a problem. You know what I'm saying? The fact that it's not is a big problem. You know. Um. But anyway, that's just my two cents. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button, y'all. I'm up out of here. Deuces.